Hi, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. Um, today I was looking when I made the taco, uh, taco spaghetti. Sorry, I forgot. My husband just told me. And I was looking at the thing to see how much salt was in there because he says, hey, it was really salty, blah, 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 you know, whatever. So I looked and I did actually put some salt in this last batch. However, I do have a little bit left in the container. And I'm going to go ahead and put that actually in here. And I'm going to mix this new batch with this and then re-put it back in this container and um, I'm not going to add any salt to this. Now it does ask for three tablespoons of chili but I am going to triple this batch. Two tablespoons of cumin, two tablespoons of paprika, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of oregano, one tablespoon of onion flakes and it says one and a half tablespoon, you know, one and a half tablespoons of salt. I think that's excessive. I'm not going to put any salt um, we just don't really need more salt in our life. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dump this out. I'll bring it down here. I already have this all measured out. And I don't know for sure if you've seen one of these before. I think I bought this one actually at Menards. And this actually goes up to a 10 tablespoons in this little cup. I think it's kind of cool. So that is that is the um, oregano. This is the onion powder. This is the garlic powder. This is, um, it'll be nine tablespoons of uh, chili powder. This is going to be the uh, six tablespoons of paprika. And this is going to be the um, six tablespoons of cumin. Okay. Now I'm just going to go ahead and mix this all together here. Because somehow when I redid my video last time, I was newer at YouTube than I am now. Not that I'm perfect at it, because believe me, I am not perfect at it. But somehow, this whole step of mixing everything together just disappeared off the video. So, this way you'll have a full video, and you don't have to go searching back. And I am going to have to make up a new batch of that um, uh, <clears throat> brown gravy mix also pretty soon. I have maybe enough for one or two more batches, and then I'll be done with that, too. But you just have to mix this all together. I suppose you could probably put this together in a food processor or um, whatever have you. I'm just trying to be a little bit simple here. And I'm pretty sure this all fit will fit in this quart jar. hold it like that and I just have the quart jar that I did have the taco seasoning in and I um, have that little uh, funnel that I use for my canning and this right here will probably be the enough uh, taco seasoning again for probably at least probably 15 or so batches now I realized I made that last batch in July and this is almost November and I have made quite a few batches of the taco seasoning um, so this definitely uh, will last quite a long time now I do still shake this up each time before I use it but um, there you go I mean that's easy um, taco seasoning now what you do is you do the one tablespoon of the mix to a three-quarter cups of water. Um, I usually pour my mix in and I will blend it with this or that little blender thing that I have and um, make sure that everything's all mixed before I put it in with my meat. My sister, she uh, sprinkles hers on. I think it depends on which way you like it, but as you can see, this is super easy, super simple. Um, and of course, you don't have all the the possible chemicals like I said this one does not have any salt in it which I'm sure is more than fine and um, yeah we'll put this up in the cabinet and we'll have some ready to go so thank you very much for stopping by you have a very blessed and wonderful day